Okay, what we need to do here is to explain why is it that if investment increases in the economy, there will be increase in consumption spending by households. Now, to answer this, I'm going to quickly do the equations for this model, and then I'll explain the reasoning here. So what we start off with, our equilibrium condition is the demand equals the level of output and income. Then we say, okay, it's demand that determines the level of output and income in this model. And our demand consists of consumption spending by households plus investment spending by firms plus government spending. Then we look at the consumption spending, our behavioral equation for households. Consumption spending equals autonomous consumption plus marginal propensity to consume times income. Our investment is an autonomous variable and government spending is an autonomous variable. Sorry. So there's your autonomous government spending and taxes is an autonomous variable. Now, let's look at this and ask what happens when there's an increase in investment and this can be because there's an increase in business confidence. So as investment increases, you have this increase in the demand for goods and services. This increase in the demand for goods and services leads to an increase in the level of output and income. Now, this increase in the level of output and income then leads to an increase in consumption spending. So, to summarize, in a, in a chain of events, an increase in investment spending increases the demand for goods, increases the level of output, which increases consumption spending. Now, this is your multiplier process that is in operation.